Welcome back, everybody. I'm sorry that took so long. I, uh, it was, it was, it was jazz. It was. Uh, jazz has matched me before because she said she wanted to talk about something, and I had a suspicion that I knew what it was. But I thought I'd have been done streaming by now, and uh, <coughs> but it, um, but I wasn't. So I was like, I better, I better send her a message. I sent her a message to ask her if she was still awake, and unfortunately, she didn't tell me if she was, but she just called me on Skype straight away. So I had to take an impromptu break. Um, but yeah, it's uh, um, jazz been uh. Just might be starting her, her, her physio job on Monday. Ricky Ticky Tabby, bitch! 15 years since I left. Jeez. Way to exaggerate. Wow. Uh, <laughs> give us seven months in a row, Cyborg Bane. But yeah, Jazz may be starting her uh, physio job this Monday. Like, they said she can start this Monday. Um, which is crazy. Like, they told her in work. So assuming nothing goes wrong, she should be starting this Monday. Which also means that I have to start streaming earlier. Uh, since I was waiting for her to start her job to start switching up my schedule. Because if, I, if, if she's going to be doing working in the morning, then we're going to go to the gym in the afternoon. Which means I have to shift to the earlier streaming time. So I'm super, I'm super chat. I'm so happy for her. She gets, she finally gets to do a physio job. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm just, ah, oh, so happy. <laughs> Crazy. I didn't expect it to be that fast. Especially them call and be like, oh, you can start this Monday. Whoa, okay. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to tell her. I, should, I want to talk to her about it. Sorry it took so long. I hope you understand. But uh, it, I figured this might take me a bit. Uh, this took me a long, longer than it's taken. I expected it to take me so far. So uh, I always underestimate the, the length for these trials. So yeah, congrats to Jazz. Oh, sorry, Jazz is my girlfriend. For people who were confused, I I apologize. I just assume that everyone here knows everything about me. It's stupid. Uh, Jazz is my girlfriend, uh, Jasmine, and uh, she uh, she's been doing. She she was in uni for the last three years to learn to be a physio, and then she was waiting for a. These these pre checks to go through and now uh, they've all gone through and she can start this Monday. I'm super happy for her. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's that. We, we I, I'm happy. I'm chuffed. It took me a little bit while. No, I I did mention I demolished like a whole chicken during the stream earlier. It doesn't really matter. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, just, just real, man, so good. All right, so let's find out what is strange about her body then, shall we? I for, it's, 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 I forget people come in and out all the time in streams, so I'm just like, everyone knows me all the time, right? It's me, Milby! Uh, <laughs> uh, it's not that like I'm creeped out or anything, it's just based on religious grounds, you know? Very well. I'll do it. But, but you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. <laughs> just let one of the boys... Yo, sh come on now, this is fucking no, Sakura. It's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl examine her. Oh, are they gonna find so out she has a penis now? Sakura, what is this? Some kind of secret girl on girl action? Is that what you two are about? They're making a lot of fuss about this girl thing, and I'm, I'm curious if she can turn out she's all. actually a guy. Stop screwing around. Okay, here I go. I'm sorry, Chihiro. Please excuse the intrusion. Putting hands together in a brief press, Sakura begins to quietly examine her body. Be sure to check her entire body, and I believe we will solve this particular mystery. Oh boy. Her entire body? Oh, it is! This is why she was sneaking up there! Because it was... What? She didn't want people to know that... This is... It, <laughs> she's is a guy! <gasps> what is it? It is this? Not possible. It's not possible. It's so good to be. 
Sakura's eyes wild, studied wildly at Chihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This, this girl is... Is what? Is a boy! Oh, it is! So oh, fuck, she, man, that's crazy. Actually, uh, hmm. I will say, until just then, I did not see that coming. Thank you for confirming this fact. Damn. I wouldn't you paid it hard, this. man. It's really true? Chihiro was... Why? Hmm? Oh, what? You guys didn't know? Heck, I knew that right off the bat. Chihiro Fujisaki was totally a guy. He was a cross-dresser? So that's what Kyoko wanted to show everyone, huh? Interesting. <laughs> yes, that certainly does make things much more exciting. Now let's ride this wave of excitement back to the courtroom and get back to the trial. <laughs> I love how her clothes ripped more <laughs> off of her when she got surprised. <laughs> now then. Let's resume the class trial. We've all just learned of the shocking revelation that Chihiro was actually a boy. Let's pick up from there. Yes, well, I don't know his reason for hiding it, but the fact is, Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. I think that Chihiro was actually a guy. He had us all fooled. And because the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' So was Chihiro room. like... Oh, God, I always get this confused. This, this, Assuming his this is the one where you are born. Fact, ...list his gender as male, then yes, that would be true. A guy or girl. Of course his handbook said he was a boy. Um, he dressed like a girl. Which is what's the one where you're like born like a boy and you figure it with even one gender and you just kind of feel so like you have a gender, there but you never actually no change gender. You just kind of... The victim was killed in the boys' locker room. And was then later moved to the girls' locker room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to Was he just he just like just room. to dress like a girl? So He's either a cross dresser really or transgender? Transgender Well I still don't understand the motive for moving the body, but transge yes, so transgender where you possible. transgenders where you like what? mentally feel like a different gender. Transvestites where you Dress up differently in transsexuals when you actually have the operation, right? Okay, yeah, I get. I sometimes mess those up. So I, yeah, I don't ever know if, whether Chihiro was a uh, transgender or just a transvestite. Did he ever refer to himself as a girl? I can't even think. Of, now I think about that. I'm trying to think if they ever did, or if he just accepted the fact that everyone assumed that he was a girl. I knew he felt a little off. There was a certain incongruity to his female body. Woo. This is the most titillating situation! So now everything has been connected. All the mysteries have finally become clear. Okay, well, connected or clear or whatever. We still think you're the killer, remember? <laughs> very interesting. This has become very interesting indeed. Ah. He's off in his own little world. What about you, Makoto? After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya's the killer? Well, without a doubt, Byakuya's the one that made Chihiro's death look like Genocide Jack did it. But... But I... I think he might not actually be the killer after all. Oh, shit. <coughs> but aren't you the one who accused him in the first place? just seems to be too easy going about all this like he's enjoying us solving the mystery the way he's acting it makes it seem like it doesn't have anything to do with him and you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him plus the evidence he left behind was a little too how can I put it overt he consciously chose to use the extension cord Knowing it could connect him to the murder. At least, that's how I see it. 
Wait, he was he trying to get everyone in kill? You found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room. It seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy. If you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on Fuck, who's actually killing that shit? Dude, I have no idea. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but... It's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct for the time being. <sighs> this guy, mark this fucking guy. Correct? He's right. I am not the culprit. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girl's locker room and decided to alter it. Why? Are you fucking Why? Right? Was he trying to get everyone killed? No, I am not effing with you. Effing right of you. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> no, I find it very hard to believe. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. If you're really telling the truth, then why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons hardly matter Effing. right now. Uncovering Dude, this guy, what? Wouldn't you say? I want to know why you tried to get everybody if killed. Me, who was it? Well, I don't think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. Dude, what? This case is crazy. Seriously, gonna keep going? We're all good, aren't we? Oh, maybe it's him. It could be him. Oh, everyone's just a sec now. No, I'm with Makoto. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Because if we're wrong, we all die here. That's true. Very well, then. I'm with you, too. <laughs> this is fucking insane. It could be like he just really do likes the idea of people doing this. Of, of course I do. <laughs> What am I, an ant or something? <laughs> this guy. Okay, I'll Discuss do what you guys want to do. Group one more time. Oh, what if it's Sweaty Nerd decision. Boy? That's very true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. Then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? <coughs> oh my gosh, this case is crazy. So many revelations. Right, who are we gonna do in this way? The killer is a guy. Definitely a guy. Which means it's either. Oh, I hope it's not Mondo. I really hope it's not Taka. I'm okay with it being Weed Guy, and I'm okay with it being Fanfic Guy, I guess. I think there's only one left. Every death, the spring stain, Celeste account. The clue. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one thing, but did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for Yeah, them. okay, Celeste. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. Ah, you bastard! Shoot! Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Finger in the... Wait, did it hit it? Oh, did it hit the purple? I can't even tell. Did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they... Someone saw the victim at some point. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. It's over! It's all. You want to know who saw the bit? The killer. And only the killer. There we go. That's the one. Okay. I just kind of, I fight the wrong one. All right. We got it. We got it. I believe someone else did see the victim before he was murdered. What do you think, Celeste? Now that you mention it, yes. I did see him. Uh, really? Oh, but I suppose only Matthew told me about this. The rest of you had no idea, did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Whatever! Just hurry up and tell us! It was last night, right before night time. I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. I saw him stuffing a trash jacket into a duffel bag. 
And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. A track jacket and a double bag. But we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. Hmm. And that is when he said something that struck me as rather odd. Let me going, I'm kind of in a hurry. Chihiro told me he was there. Why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone were waiting for him, I should think. So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together? But Hina and I had invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Yeah, because he's a guy. Probably because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. Enough so that he was willing to risk the secret being revealed. Oh, what a marvelous friendship! The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. But knowing what we know, I can't even guess. It's gotta be fanfic guy, right? You already have what you need to make the connection. Huh? Not sure how it be. You know who the killer is. Seriously? Who is it? Who's the killer? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Focus on the details of these items, and it should become obvious who was waiting for him. Are you sure about that? You really think we can figure out who did it based on two pieces of evidence that we don't have? Hmm. What? You want to track down some fingerprints or something? Even if we had the equipment for that, we wouldn't know how to use it. As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. Easy for you to say. But fine. Celeste, did All you right. notice anything <coughs> special about the bag That's or jacket? Blue stripes. The bag was a normal just devil a normal in there. Duffel bag yeah, and the, the jacket was like blue stripes. All the bags in there are the same, so... I can't imagine what would make that one special. Hmm. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Yeah. Do you think there might be some connection between the culprit and Jahiro's jacket? Perhaps. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. Alright, probably have to take something from someone and shoot it at another one. <laughs> The hero's jacket really holds some clue about the killer. Somehow, it's really hard to believe. All right, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna suck some of that succulent arguments out of people and fire them arguments back at people's face, perhaps. That's what I believe. None of that makes First any of all, sense. We know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next, we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit. Oh god, we're gonna say that. It matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black! I... I don't even have a tracksuit! This exercising sucks! I have a white tracksuit, personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out who the culprit is? What? No way. Not a chance. They should tell me what color suit- I didn't even see what color like trackers they have. What he just said without even realizing it? What? Oh man, this is hard. I didn't pick up on that. We know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to why did he choose this? What do you mean the specific? I got it! He picked that track. It matched the one the culprit was wearing. So, what if the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My tracksuit is black. I, I don't 
don't even have a tracksuit. Cause exercising sucks. I have a white tracksuit personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Would any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out who the culprit is? No way. Not a chance. You heard him, right? What he just said without even realizing it? What the fuck? Oh shit, I'm missing First this. First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on it. his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose? Yeah, I can have to take some he random shots. Then. I got it. He picked that. It matched the one the culprit was wearing. So what you're saying? The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him. My tracksuit is black. I we don't even have a tracksuit. I'm gonna shoot the white one with the blue one. I have a white tracksuit personally. No, okay. I was kind of guessing there. Chikiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. Right, yeah. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean the specific? I got it. He picked that. It matched the one the culprit was wearing. So what? You, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him. My tracksuit is black. No. Uh, Shoot. Uh. First of all, we know where Chikiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit? What do you mean, the specific? I got it! He picked that track, it matched the one- So, the killer was wearing a suit. My tracksuit is black. I, I don't even have a tracksuit. His exercising sucks. I have a white tracksuit, personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer? Dude, no what the fuck? Yes, I'm yes. so fucking lost. You heard him, right? First of all, we know. Oh fuck me. Uh, I'm not looking at chat right now. I'm just trying to, in case someone tells me. <coughs> um. Can I already use that one? Let me... He was on his way to go exercise, so next we have to ask. Why did he choose the specific track? What do you mean, the specific? I got it! It, it matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you say? The killer was wearing the same blue... My tracksuit is black! I, I don't even have a tracksuit! Cause exercising sucks! I have a white tracksuit, personally. Shoot! First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? No, Wait, did she not say it was a blue tracksuit? Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you just say? Huh? What'd I say? 
Wait, Once hang on. I'm trying to myself. Like, I don't remember her saying he had a bl said... blue tracksuit. She never said anything about the jackets. That's what, what? Yeah. Okay. I was sitting there. I was like, "What the so fuck?" Why did you say I, was, I couldn't see that one there for that for a bit. What are you? You just. Hey, Celeste. What color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was... Let's look at the chat and see who tried to spoil it for me. And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? Juju, not cool. I told about if I didn't look, that would have been extremely peeved off. Mondo, how did you know what color Chihiro's tracksuit was? Because I... I just... I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. No, that can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was... ...is if he saw Cherry with it before he died! That's the only possibility! Cherry? Are you talking about the hero? So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? Oh, don't make it Mondo. Just by chance. I just happened to see it last No, time. don't make it Mondo. He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony... She's in a bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. Like that, she was gone. No, I don't make it Mondo. Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the back. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. It would appear you've dug your own grave. Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew he did it, to put them on edge. That's right. However, Sly. Mondo was my target all along. You think Mondo is next to you, not, not not over there. But why? <laughs> what made you so suspicious? That's a good question. I'm told the way he was acting because I hate him. Because <laughs> I hate him. The way he was acting. The way he talked. The way he talked? There was a certain turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after he was killed, you happened to refer to him as dude. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. Uh. <laughs> you didn't notice such a tiny detail? Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're positively frightful! <laughs> No, I'm not the frightful one. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Duh. He Mondo, did call a dude, didn't he? Was Shit. it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I, 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 uh, I didn't kill anyone. No, Mondo, you, you were like one of my favorite you ones. Why are you being softy? to treat me like a goddamn criminal. Oh, Chmondo. Yeah, he would never do something like that. This is a false accusation. No attacker, you, he's all broed out. You're all, you're all in, My you're all bromanced up. That was fast. Well, this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of reads. <laughs> My time has nearly come. That's what my little ghost friend is telling me. 
Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Kifumi, weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Really? What kind of evidence? Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. All right, we got to, we got to somehow we got to sell this now. We got to somehow it's fine, man. Somehow somehow prove it was Mondo even though I don't want it to be Mondo. <laughs> oh. No. Here it is. What do you have there? It happens to be an e-handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. It's Oh shit. Oh, controls disconnected. It's Chihiro's. It. it was his. Was his? His was missing. Chihiro's handbook was missing from the scene of the crime, right? For a fact. For a fact, indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. Triple cross at someone else. Yeah. About the culprit, right? God, this, this is a good court case. I like this one. Well, that's what I was hoping, but it's busted. It won't even turn on. I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so fragile. You're right. They're not. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful lot to break one. And yet, this one does appear to be broken. As is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall. For all your confidence, that is a remarkably high failure. What was that sound? <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? How precisely did the handbooks get broken? Ghost. It was a ghost. The bag by hitting a weak spot. Hit its weak point by hacking it. Spotting it by hitting its weak point. You said there's a weak point. I got it. You already told us before that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah. You remember that? Uh, uh, sure, maybe I let that slip, but I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. But if the handbook is supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quick succession, then... Then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? You're asking me? So bold! I think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial. This is this drum in the background to this that sounds like a train. And someone else decides to copy it, that would be Just listen to it. Good. Just tell us already! Why would oh, we gone. break our own handbooks? It's gone. Maybe I'll come back again. I have a weakness for pushy demands, but you're sure you won't follow their example? Then allow they break someone else uses it. That could be true. The weak point of my cutting edge. Maybe they it breaks and they die. When it's exposed to oh. high temperatures for too long, it will suffer <coughs> a meltdown and totally break. I flipping knew it. Oh Ooh. shit! Because they were in the sauna. Because I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of the air. The sauna on scene. Oh shit. It all had a reason. If the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you'd definitely get fried. That layer of air would get blown. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, know that about a sauna. Didn't know that. <laughs> that did. You just told me one of you. Interesting. I learned one new fact today. That is a mere trifling speck of knowledge. Yeah, Monday didn't anyway, take his clothes off. If you found the victim's handbook in the sauna, then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. Because he broke his own. How'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Yeah, he broke his own and then switched Indeed. it with Quite Leon. What if they found out by accident? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. What do you mean? By Genius. Accident? Genius. 
What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna? It's crazy how many little things happen, and like you, like at the time you're like, what? Okay, and then you're like, oh god, it all makes sense. And it wouldn't be hard. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe, Pepe Sylvia. Who's Pepe Sylvia? There is no Pepe Sylvia. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? I don't know of anyone. Yeah, this is a long trial, Smalls. <laughs> this has had a lot of like twists and turns. This trial. Originally, we, originally we we found out that Toko is like a serial killer, and then we think, oh no, it's actually Bakuya is gonna frame him, and now it turns out that Bakuya just did it for the fun of it, and it looks like it may be Mondo. Guesses you? Only one person could have brought it in. I made him do a face, which was weird. I mean, Mondo was wearing the clothes in the sauna. So it would have to be him. And although, um, the part makes me think that the other guy's so studious he'd have brought it in anyway. Fucking hell, I'm so sick of disconnecting this controller. I'm just gonna say Mondo and hope it's Mondo. Here's my answer. Mondo. Your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? I was overthinking what? things for a second. Then. Why? Why do you keep accusing him? Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago. Remember? No, no, no. They weren't both wearing clothes because he took his clothes off, and we were saying, like, yeah, why'd you take your clothes off? But little did he realize he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. <coughs> And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook... Yeah, you're a good point. I did not save for a while. I have not saved for quite a while. Just in case it freezes. Good idea. No, wait. Hold on. You've got it all wrong. He would never kill... Good call, good call. Brain trust, good call. Them brains going, them brains going. I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but... But I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Alright. Oh my god, it's a lot. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo... You broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! Broken you? Yeah, See? okay, I know, I know. Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! No, I know it, I know it, right. We, we say, we shout at him about him saying his works with the broke one, because he switched it. He switched it! Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! Oh, fuck. Oh, dude, I've got this real fucking bad habit of pressing the wrong button when it comes to that. I keep pressing the left bumper instead of the right bumper to slow down time! If what he says is you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is then that proves that what Makoto said. Well my goddamn handbook works just fucking. There we go. No, it's wrong. Man, dude, Mondo is letting me down big time. Mondo, the handbook you have right now. Is it really yours? Hit the train, the train's back. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? The broken handbook that was in the main hall. <laughs> Isn't that one actually yours? <coughs> what the heck are you talking about? What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually. Yeah, I feel bad for Tacker as well. He was like, he's all, he's got I his big bromance. Leon's handbook and replaced it with his own. 
After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right! The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So then, the broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's, which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's, yes? But doesn't that violate the school regulation that says loaning out your handbook is prohibited? Of the dead. Well, here's how I look at it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student, but if they're dead, they're not a student. It's kind of a great area, I admit. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. As oh. such, I decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not a violation of the rules. <laughs> well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. Oh. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but... <laughs> Son of a bitch. What's wrong, bro? Come on, Come on, bro. Tell him he's wrong. Tell him, bro. Come on, bro. You have to be wrong. Come on, bro. Everything you just said is wrong. You made it all up. Oh, Taka. Okay, then why don't we look back on this case one more oh, time? Oh, we get to do the little, little manga put together that thing. Way, everything will become clear. And we'll all see if I was right or wrong. Oh, here we go. All right. <laughs> Act one, getting her clothes. Celeste sees her, him, and he's like, "Whoa!" And he's like, "Pling!" <laughs> All right, and then her eyes go, "Pling." At the pling at this, as they notice the clothes in the gym. Where are you going with that? And then he shoves him the bag, runs away. Goes into the boys' room. And... Does an in? Oh, that was a bit confusing. Or, or is, it, is it that, and then that? I'm assuming it's that. So we're going... Right to left, as opposed to left to right. And then he's like, hey. he's like, hey, and he's like, hey, what's up? And then puts the bag away, and then goes in there. And then... Lifts up <coughs> the weight. How will lift the weight? Turns around, smack, bashes, Maybe this one's different? Maybe this one's a different one. Oh, I'm a little confused about this one. Blood splatters and then the well, blood covered weight. Then he drops it there, so let's make it right. I'm gonna come back to that one. Rolls. Okay. He's like, oh my god, I've killed them. <coughs> Rolls up the mat. That takes off the poster, picks up here, goes to the girls' room.
Wait, how does he get into the girl's room? Because he uses one of the girl's readers, I guess. Yeah. Puts the new one back up. Oh, I reckon this one goes there. This one goes there. He's a hardy though, and he's like... Okay, then he comes in and is like, hey, cool, dead person. Let's fuck this for no reason that I can work out. Let's string her up. <laughs> okay. And he gets that. Ties it to that. Really, really fucked up. But gets the blood. Writes the, l the letter. Act five. Tosses. Stands there, tosses it in. And I guess it has to end with this one? The killer is you! Did I get it right? First, let's take a look back to before the incident. All right, yeah, I suppose it... Night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse, correct? Oh, man, what can those eyes? It's At rough. The time, Let me get myself out of screen. apparently stuffing something into a duffel bag. Yeah, season put my hands like that. That something was a blue tracksuit. You can confirm this, right, Celeste? Bye-bye. Act With that two. With hand, Chihiro headed out. Even though it was officially nighttime, she made her way to the locker room. Specifically, the boys' locker room. Boys locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? Shit. Oh, okay. I got this backwards in there. So it's that and then that? Here's exactly what happened. With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out. She made her way to the lock. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl? Right, there we go. Some of these are hard to do. Simple. Because she was really a he. Which is why he was able to use his own handbook to gain entrance to the boys' walk. Yeah, what was Beck doing going into the girls' room anyway? That's a really good point, actually. <laughs> Once inside, he met with someone there. And the person he met was the one who killed him. It seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell. I hope I don't get these wrong too much, because I am low on health. I fucked up loads in that one where I got confused. Right, yep, okay. And that's where the Whew. blood stains on the poster and carpeting in the boys' locker room came from. It was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unplanned. Which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, pulling up the bloodstained carpet. I may have this wrong. Then, removing the bloody poster. Okay, now I got it right, I got it right. And finally carrying the corpse into the girls' locker room. Why did Mondo do it? Yeah, I know, I mean, Mo maybe Mondo was, was embarrassed to find out that it was a course. girl. But this alone doesn't prove that the killer was necessarily a girl. 
feel like this wouldn't hold up in court very well. Exactly how the killer did. With the carpet and the poster they brought with them, they got to work. They changed the layout of the boys and girls' locker room in what you might call a crime scene switch. That could have been the end of things, but no. Yakuya discovered the body and decided to... Why did he walk into the girls room? That is really... Did he just leave the lock open? Maybe he just left the door open. After stumbling on the crime scene, he went and grabbed the extension cord from the library. And then he got to work. Use the cord to string up Chihiro's lifeless body. Which is fucked up. Incredibly messed up. I feel like we should have him killed because he's just a fucking mental case anyway. He left a grisly message there at the scene of the crime. He wanted to create the illusion that Genocide Jack was responsible for the slaughter. I assume the pink blood was a style choice as well. It stands out a lot more, which and I think is important in this. This, this last one I'm unsure about. I just kind of did that. Nothing else made the sense. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And just as the killer expected. The steamy sauna was enough to ruin the electronic gadget. Somehow, the killer knew that the handbook couldn't stand up to the heat of the sauna. And the reason they knew that is because the sauna had already wrecked their own handbook. And that's how it all played out. Right. Implicated Genocide Jax didn't want to go out with her. But didn't he realize that if they accused her, they'd all die? That's what confuses me. Is that if it if his plan had worked, they'd all have died. Even including him. He was he was so didn't want to date her so much that he'd rather die. <laughs> Evidence of Monado is uh, Monda Monado. Monado is a Xenoblade. All we'll I have to do is check that one item of his, and everything will become clear. New elements being added to bullet time battles. Sure. He's literally just fucking insane. Yeah, I guess he's just fucking mental. Fever time will activate and the tempo will be forced to win. At this point, even if you push the button at random, that you won't miss. You still push A, Y, A, Y, however you want to destroy the point's available assault. This only lasts until your focus gauge runs out, so make the best possible use of your time. Plus, won't be fair if you only got access to special time, right? So it's also prepared to make called Negata. Uh, I'm trying to read that. <laughs> going wrong there. Negatime. Your opponent can use. If the opponent activates, I'm not going to read it again. If you're able to value, your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite a bit tougher to hit the buttons in rhythm. That is an unfortunate phrase, that is. <laughs> that was, sorry. I was trying to read that about something worse than it actually sounded way worse the second time. I swear I'm not PewDiePie. Yeah. Right, okay. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. False. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. 
I refuse Shit. to vote. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refuse ah, you. Ah, what was the oh what was the temp what was the fucking temper marker? I missed it. Ah, B button, okay. You're corrupt. Ah, how do, why wouldn't it use it? I won't listen. You're corrupt. I refuse to vote. I refuse you. False. You're corrupt. Show me some What the fuck? I won't listen. What the fuck is. What the fuck, man? Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, for fuck's sake, god damn it. I was trying to use my thing, my focus on it, it wouldn't work. Is, is this yeah, I want to give another shot. I refuse to give up yet. Right, let me read that again. Oh, B button. If you just have activate the temple will be forced to its max. At this point, even if you push the buttons at random, you won't miss. You can push A, Y, A, Y, however you want to destroy your opponent's visible soul. It's only last until your focus gauge runs out, so make the best possible use of your focus time. Of course, it wouldn't be fair if you only got to so you got, uh, time. If you put it to a mark disappear, making it quite bit tempting to the buttons in the room. If you would activate to at this point, man, I'm saving was going to I don't know what All right. So I'm, so I'm supposed to activate it at that moment, I guess. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. These bits confuse the shit. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. False. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. I refuse to vote. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. False. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. You're corrupt. I refuse to vote. I refute you. False. You're corrupt. Show me some evidence. Fuck, it's hard. Listen. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. False. Dude, that's so hard. Show me some evidence. Fucking hell, I find that really hard to do. I can't like, I can't pick up the beat on it. The beat seems just so off on those parts. If my thinking so far is right, Mondo must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon's. In which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Dude, I find those those last stands so hard. Once we do that, we'll. Oh yeah, that Twitch alerts thing is is some weird thing that seems to happen like once a stream for me. It fucks up and sets off like a random sub thing that didn't actually happen. Tastes bad. Mac, uh, Mac One Fireman, thank you very much for 41, 45 months in a row. You don't gotta do that. To ignore the zombie thing. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I killed him. Oh, Mondo. Mondo. I'm gonna get real bad ranking on that last one, aren't I? Oh, fuck. Let's see. Oh. Oh, is that an A? <laughs> oh, jeez. Some, some pretty rough... Some pretty rough stuff going on there. Bro? Bro? What are you saying? Bro! I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just... Give up. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. Ask for the goddamn 
verdict. Roger that. I'm pretty sure the difficulty is on the max for this, isn't it? No waiting, no holding on. Time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Grab your lever and give it a yank. Who will you elect as the blackened this time around? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Pretty sure I'm on the diff most difficult uh, mode for this. Pretty, I remember picking that. Yeah, I don't really get away killed the hero. Probably they just explain what? it now. Uh oh, this look, this time it looks like you. <coughs> I'm back. You got it right again. Yes, it is. The so, the black and the killed your hero, Fujisawa was. Ta -da! Mondo Uada! Maybe he'll explain now. In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Kyotaka chose the wrong answer. You're treading very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. Uh, I refuse to believe it. There's no way, no way he would kill someone. Sorry. <laughs> what, what is this? Why are you apologizing? Wh wh why? Wh why? Why did you do it? Now then. Well, it looks like Manado's taken a vow of silence, so allow me to explain on his behalf. Actually, the story of the murder this time is the sad story of two men. Oh, but for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the B button to fast forward the text. Anyway, there was once a young boy, and his name was Chihiro Fujisaki. I want to hear this. He had an extreme inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. I keep saying Monado. You're so weak, even though you're a boy. He heard, he heard things like that as long as he could remember, and he couldn't overcome his weakness. On the con if someone could explain this to Drat real in like a real short way, that'd be great. On the contrary, he tried to hide and buried himself further and further into that weakness. To take on the fragile form of a petite young girl. <laughs> what? He's even girl? Not because he felt like a woman, because people called him weak, so he was like, I'm just gonna be a girl. He had chosen that as his way out. Um, now nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy. But no matter how tightly he wrapped himself up in the shell, the inferiority complex had already taken deep root inside uh, taken root deep inside of him and was not so easily weeded out. As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear. Instead, it only grew stronger and stronger. I'm, I'm weak. Weak, 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 weak. Weak, 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 Fantastic. What a, uh, <laughs> yeah, what a great attitude. Once the killing game had begun here at the school. <laughs> Once the killing game had begun here at the school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. Yeah, everybody let's chant. We, we, yeah. After all, this world is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. And then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. Which, of course, included Jihiro's embarrassing secrets, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though he dresses like a girl, Jihiro is actually a boy. Hey, um... Uh, right, what's it? And that was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. Oh. 
If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack and the armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those around him would torture him more than ever before. Everyone figured out being trust thrust into such a dilemma, dilemma, must have sent him spiraling into despair. What? And yet, uh, I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but, but I don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later. I, I try my best to become strong. I can tell everyone. What, after one gym search. Annoyingly, he used the threat of discovery to motivate himself to become stronger. That's right. That was my chance. I want to I'm gonna change. get stronger. I'm gonna accept who I am. This pair. Give me this pair. Let me get <laughs> Tell me what you tell me what you love, Cloud. <laughs> Let me give you this pair. God, that line is so cheesy. Let me take it away from you. What was it? I have, that was it. I have a gift for you. Let me give you this pair. <laughs> with, that, with that thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action. He's gonna down a bunch of like creatine and protein and just hit the gym and be like, oh, massive gains! <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking huge in a day! I'd love to see a massive gains to hero fan art. And so... That day, he made the commitment to begin exercising. He was prepared to retrain his mind and body. But sadly, that would be the first and only chance he would get at it. Hey, um... When he decided to start exercising, he thought it would be good to ask for someone's help. But he wanted to tell that person his secret first, and then ask them to help him from there. And the person he went to... Yeah, that's right. It was me. <laughs> yep, it sure was! <laughs> the biker gang fella had been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. So Chihiro probably figured out that even in his confi even if he confined in Monado, Ma fuck, I can't stop saying it. Ma he's gonna be dead soon, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Mondo, his honor would make him keep the secret. Uh-huh. Plus, Mr. Macho Mondo was the very symbol of a strong man that Chihiro had always aspired to. Oh, dude, this voice is killing me. Me- <laughs> Maybe talking to Monado about it will help give me some courage. So, he went and asked- Wait, Chihiro's saying this? Wait, hang on, what? Chihiro's saying that he went and asked Monado to help him become strong? <laughs> that was his inspiration. I think that was like a I think that was an error there. And he thought that only with Monado's support would he ever be able to come close to that. Correct. So then that must be why Mondo did what he did. <laughs> to Monando's. To keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro. Huh? Did what he did? You mean that's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room? Indeed. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Um, Wasn't that to cover up what he'd done? Certainly. I could have been part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. Wow, that is like weirdly noble in a really fucked up way. That was the real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made to Chihiro. But... But how does moving the body keep his secret? Because... Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room... Yeah, it doesn't explain why he's killed him yet. I mean, we're arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once they started up, at least a few of us would have immediately began to suspect his identity, so... He tried to protect Chihiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook, see? Then... Mondo did all that to keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro, who'd also, who he'd also killed? <laughs> Why would he do that? The more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? So why, why did you? Because no matter what, I, I didn't want anyone to know. I knew it. So that's what triggered it after all. The, possi the possibility of your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. What, what is this? That's impossible. 
Nothing could have been that bad. Something he didn't want to know, even if it meant killing someone? You're wrong! It's impossible. Don't make me repeat myself. How many times must I repeat myself? <laughs> to judge others, oh, sorry, to judge others by your own standard is the height of folly. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. can. That's all there is to it. <laughs> well, well, on the subject, why don't I tell you that it's an embarrassing memory that secret he didn't want anyone to know. Hey! You know um... what Mondo did? He killed his own brother. Yo, oh, that's bad. Mondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums and riffraff across the country tremble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. Yo, man, yeah, what a dick. Mondo's older brother's name was Daya Uwada. Daya Uwada. Mondo had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Dea that Mondo even ever got on a motorcycle. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. Man, he's wobbling all over the place. He wanted to measure up to his big brother, so he in he imitated he imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the epitome of the starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang. And before anyone knew it, he had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Daya, the older brother number one in the gang, and his number two, his younger brother Mondo. In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. But when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over from the gang, from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation, began to gnaw on Mondo's very soul. The kid's gonna, <laughs> the kid's gonna take over from Dea, huh? Dea created the gang with his bare hands. Mondo's just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All they'll do is make the gang look bad. Yeah. Almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip and whispers of the other members of the gang. Oh, please stop talking. Holy shit, my throat. Peaches and gravy. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> Which is why... I... I just... I gotta get stronger. Stronger than Daya. One... Just once, just one time. No matter what, I gotta win. Don't fuck with me. I don't care what it takes. I gotta cut out. I gotta come out on top. Come out. And on... And on that night, as of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck. The kid's brother pushed ahead with reckless abandon, eager for victory, and dashed into oncoming traffic. But suddenly... Oh, he didn't really kill him then. Oh, okay. You made it sound like he fucking murdered him. That's far... It, he did... Yeah, okay, it was his fault. But the way you said it made it sound like he fucking straight up killed him. Laying in his kid brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. My... My bad, kid. I fucked up. Sorry. Of course, he knew it was his brother's fault. But Daya never blamed him for what happened. Hey... Hey, kid. The rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang together. <laughs> Yo, his bro is like a hot boy. Cause it's a team. You and me put together. It's a pr promise between men. It's a promise. <gasps> <coughs> He decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang in order to keep the gang together and keep the promise to his brother. He could never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that had caused the accident. And as a result... It's, I think it's fun people making... Uh, making random guesses about what's happening. I like seeing what people think is could be going on. No point shouting at people for it. It's just if you're in a bad mood. 
the team that was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who busted bested his big brother. Daya was gonna lose to this kid's bro to, the, to his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That became the explanation for what happened. Mondo's lie became the truth. He wanted to lead the team so bad he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. I... I just... I just am strong. Strong. Strong, 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 weak, weak, strong, 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 weak, weak, weak. I love it. What a good, what a fantastic chant. What a chant. Sit there all day. Weak, 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 strong, strong, strong. And yet, as soon as our killing game began, he realized no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. <laughs> and then the lovely, the hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. Strong, 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 strong. <laughs> uh, stupid, 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 stupid. Strong, 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 strong. They're all big fans of repetition, aren't they? And they'll be as strong as Sakura. Yeah, he's like, I'm strong. You see Sakura, he's like, fuck me. Oh my gosh, he's strong. At that point, it was clear I'd have no problem shedding light on his secret. Mondo killed his own older brother. Yeah. No matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked to create would have been destroyed. His death, all the guilt I'd been carrying around, it all would have been for nothing. <laughs> why, 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 why? So that's, so that's why. I. That's why. I. I. Mondo. Yeah. After I saw what Monokuma had on me, my health filled up with a kind of fuzzy uneasiness and just started swirling around. I'd never felt anything like it before. I. I just. I, I didn't know what to do about it. Oh. Do you know what? I feel like you could take his hair off. Like, that's fake hair. Like, you could just, like, pop it off. It could be a weapon. I wasn't sure what to think or say, but, oh man, my fucking eye hurts. I've been playing this game too long today. But after a while, that fuzziness, that fuzzy uneasiness turned itself into a rock-hard lump of anxiety way down in my stomach. And it was right around then that Chihiro asked me to start working out with him. And right there, I... He told me a secret. Seriously? Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I lied to you. But why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Huh? Huh? Because, I mean, you, you kept that secret all this time, right? If anyone found out, you would... But... You're right, but... I want to I want change. change. I wrapped myself up in lies. I, I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. His words were like a knife in my gut. I felt like he was exposing the lie I'd been living myself. Oh, I see. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong. It, it can't hurt you, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. You piece of... So what? You're saying I should just say it? Why? You're saying if I really am, what? I should just be able to tell anyone my secret? Huh? <laughs> I know Makoto's Makoto's secret is so fucking lame compared to everyone else's. I'm actually a boy. I killed my brother. I wet the bed. Makoto, even your secrets are fucking beta as hell. You're so normal. I was jealous. I was jealous of Chihiro's strength. He had the strength to face his own weakness to try and overcome it. It was the kind of strength I'd never had. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is a terrible death. This is the way it happened. It's so tragic. So I was jealous of him. And that jealousy broke me. What? Are you making fun of me? What? I'm strong. Are you fucking with me right now? No. Well, I'm not making fun of you. You really are strong, Mondo. I feel like I could hear something starting to creak. 
something inside my head. What did you want me to do? What did you want me to do? What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to just sit back, let my secret get revealed, and ruin everything? What's wrong? What's wrong? Damn Why you. did you have to tell me all that? Are you trying to rub my failure in my face? I, I oh, just I just wanted... really admire you. I admire your strength. Yeah, that's right. That's right, I am strong. Strong. I'm strong. Yeah. Strong, 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 <laughs> Just had to get that little little uh, little massive gains chat out of the way there. <laughs> stronger than you. You son of a bitch. I'm stronger than Dia. I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, he was laying at my feet, covered in blood. He had the dumbbell in my hand, and I was just staring at him down on the ground. <sighs> hey. I killed him. Killed him. I killed Chihiro. Even after all this time, I'm still just as weak as I've always been. And thanks to that, I did something I can never take back. Yeah, I jump on this to cog the whole chicken I devoured. <laughs> and on that day, a new meme was born. He was so normal, so aggressive, so angry. He was normally so aggressive, so angry. He hid that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. A weakness like that lived in a heart like his, and it turned him cold-blooded. God damn it. Look at him, you see? You're all just like him. For a secret from the past, for a memory. For that, he killed a never-living human in cold blood. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad you can laugh guys. I'm, it's one of my one of my goals I hope in life is to make you laugh. Just you know, a little, 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 little giggle somewhere in there. He couldn't cut free of his regrets from the outside world. He doesn't know what true strength is. Do you see hope anywhere in there? Oh, no fucking hope from Final Fantasy 13. Oh, Jesus. Cuz I sure don't. You bastard. Just shut up, you son of a bitch. Go ahead, say that again, I dare you. Yep. Okay, I'll say it as many times as I want. Is what I want to say, but... <laughs> fortunately, I can't right now. Because the time for punishing is fast approaching. P punishing? You forgotten me. You mean execution? Well, uh, That's well, what I promised uh, you, right? Well, uh, the black and the disturbs the peace will be punished. Ridiculous. Hold on. Now then, now then I prepared, I prepared a very Oh, you're saying anyway. Oh, for Monado Awada, the ultimate biker gang leader. Yeah, we get these half red ones now. No, wait, wait. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. It's punishment time, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Punishment time. Punishment time. It's time. Once again, it's Saturday evening, and it's time for punishment time. Fucking punishment time. Well, I appreciate that, Rogue Admiral. Thank you very much. I'm all right. Sorry, I would love man. to see a show called fucking punishment time. <laughs> Today on punishment time. I couldn't keep the promise. We Scott Bakula is getting his ass banged by another. Terry Crews. <laughs> oh, I managed to, I'm, I'm glad I managed to pull a name out there. I couldn't think of one. I couldn't keep the promise we made from one man to another. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Here we go. Something to do with motorcycles, definitely. <laughs> He's got the hair. Oh, it's one of those like little those death circle things. 
The cage of death, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What? They turn him into butter. That's really weird. <laughs> what the fuck? Laugh at death and your soul will be at peace. I can't believe it's not Mondo. It can't be my brother. I never murder. And another execution. I wanna. Oh, shit, wrong voice. I wanna feel again. Wrong voice completely. Everyone's lives are taken so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Maybe I'll just let it happen. <laughs> that's how you scream. Makoto, that's how you scream. Not. <laughs> oh, cute Taka. I feel bad for Taka. As Taka's sad screams invaded our skulls, we were each forced to realize once again. But he, of course, he had to... <laughs> what a disappointment. This is this, this, this is the end of the game? Biaku? What is this? You're completely insane, you know that? A game? One of our friends is dead, do you realize that? Naturally. Of course I do. <laughs> of course I do, because this, is, this game is life or death. Hey. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response except that. However, I just don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crime? What? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because it made things more interesting. Oh my God, he is actually a fucking loon. His voice was calm, emotionless, like the voice of death. It chilled me to the bone. <laughs> Dude, I want this guy to die so bad. Last night when the murder took place, I was in the library as usual. Oh, I was in the library as usual. She so ignored the nighttime rule too. She so ignored the nighttime rule too. Hmm. That, that rule never mattered to me. I don't recall agreeing to it. There is nothing to be done. I don't. Con I don't particularly care. Please continue. I'm being left with all the fucking loons. All the oh god, the cold hard ones. The night grew late, and I decided to return to my room, which is when I stumbled upon him. I spotted Mondo coming out of the girls' locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. Wait, you mean you actually witnessed the murder? He was such a fool. He didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. So you're saying you knew the culprit was from the very beginning? That's right. Yeah, I just turned him into Zap Brannigan. Indeed, but if he had been at the end of it, how boring would that have been? I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. <laughs> Jesus, man. Which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. I thought it would liven things up. We did all that to liven things up? I see. So after hearing about Genocide Jack from Toko, you decided to use that to create the fake murder scene? But damn, if we didn't figure it out and really done it, you'd have been dead too, right? <laughs> well, obviously I would have revealed the truth. Oh my god. Well, obviously I would have revealed the truth before I reached that point. Of course. Bayaka turned and looked at me in the eye. I could feel his sharp eyes piercing into me. <laughs> Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did. And I was able to perform an interesting experiment. <laughs> Once I do decide to become blackened, I now know who I'll have to watch out for. What? So that was your reason. Man. What? Dude. He did that to make it interesting and also to see who <laughs> fucking would be his main opponent. 
Fucking must well just kill me. Indeed. Yes, we're done listening to your story. Moving on. Hey. There's something I'd like to ask Monokuma. What's this? Oh, I'm up next. You. You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is why? <laughs> Do you like them? But you know, this punishment, this despair, it's not just for you. All this punishment, all this despair is my gift to mankind itself. What? You're over-exaggerating. I am not over-exaggerating. These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair. Damn. He said that he wanted to find out who was actually Gentleman Jack. Oh, you mean killer, serial killer Jack. Yeah. Well, he already knew that before, didn't he? What do you mean? What do you mean? 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 Mean, mean, oh, uh -huh. mean, 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 yeah, mean, 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 they're so big on this. Good grief, I don't understand why you have to pick apart every little stupid thing. Huh, whatever, it doesn't matter. In the end, it's gonna stand alone as the victor, and then everything will be revealed to me. Yeah, I know my webcam's off, I, I'm just leaving it off. The noble son of a noble family. Truly, you understand me. <laughs> I think this is the start of a terrifying friendship. That's enough. Shut up. I would never stoop to the level of a childish criminal like you. Let me just say this. After I've achieved complete victory, you're up next. I'm gonna find you and kill you. Understand? In the name in the name of the Togami family, for which victory is a foregone conclusion. You're getting oh, it's so cool! It's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No trash mob for you! I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. <laughs> me, 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 me! <laughs> temper, temper. Sounds like someone needs a nap. <laughs> Dude. Monokuma's laugh peeled through the courtroom and the, certain, the curtain closed in the case of Chihiro and Monado. Mondo! Motherfucker. But I knew that wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue. Because the, ma the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those of us who were still alive, our worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in a hell. In hell and had more. In hell had more of a future. Oh, fucking hell. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell had more of a future than us. Fucking hell, there you go. All of our courage, our effort, our friendship. It felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. Man. Well, anyway, oh, shit. Like I was saying, this is a pretty good spot. Yeah, a really good spot. Anyway, isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, it'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. Fear and despair charge forward at a speed nothing can hope to match. But I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. You do remember you were supposed to make the first move, right? Oh. Well, no biggie. Nothing we can do about it now, so just do your best to make things more exciting from now on, okay? After all, that's what everyone wants to see. There's one thing I'd like to ask you. As long as you don't want to know. Oh shit, my he's got a, someone in there on his side. Away. All right, we're ending soon. I think we should be anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Who is it? The 16th high school student. I mean. My my, you really took me by surprise there. I know I said you could ask anything, but super denied, ultra denied, demonic denied. Strong, 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 strong. That's my ace in the hole. 
And nobody be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their... Pee in a jar, everybody. Quick, pee in a jar. Pee in a jar. Pee in a jar. Emergency jar pee. <laughs> Chapter 2, Boy's Life of Despair. The end. Fuck, down to 10 now. To be continued. The crazy diamond present. Lovely. I do want to save you. Yeah. Alright. That's it for me. I'm done. I'm out. I'm done. It's been uh, eight hours. I think that's a, that's a good way to end it, I think. On the... Uh, on the on the on the end of chapter two. I hope you all enjoyed it. That was really fun. This is a fun game. This is a fun game. I like this. Uh, it's been a nice long stream. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. As always, this is a very fun game to play. Uh, I will be streaming this game again next Friday. Uh, I stream. Uh, this is of course fan service Friday. If you didn't know, if you're coming in every Friday, we do uh, we we play a game that was voted for on by you guys. We started it last week, <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna play the game until I finish it, and then when I finish it, we'll have a new game. To, we'll have some new games for you guys to vote on, and we'll pick those. Um. So yeah, this is played every Friday. This one specifically, and uh, if you want to check me out, I um currently I didn't have a proper schedule, but as my girlfriend is starting her new job. On Monday, apparently, I am gonna have to shift my stream to my early time, so I'll probably be starting around 10 a.m. BST in the future. Um, so that's probably what I'm gonna be doing. Either that or nine. We'll have to we'll work that one out. Uh, so yeah, I stream every Monday to Friday. Don't forget to follow the channel if you're not doing so already. I play a lot of very different games. I'm a very big just mix and match kind of guy. Got plans for some like general sort of themed days as I going forward. Got to sort of structure out the stream a bit more because a lot of time it's kind of me just wading through blindly. Um, but yeah, these are very fun to uh, to play. Uh, so I hope you really enjoyed the uh, the stream, everybody. So yeah, if you want to see more Danganronpa specifically and just that, you don't want to see anything else from me, come back next Friday. Uh, otherwise, I'll be here to make stupid jokes about other things. Uh, other than that, I can hear my cat, but I have no idea where she is. I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. Nice long stream. Good stream. Fun stream. Thank you to everybody who subscribed today and the bits and the donations. It was very kind of you all. Um, I really appreciated it. And that is it. That's it. I'm done. I'm out. I'm done. Thanks for watching. For the good time.